DIM, D-I-M. So what is it, what is it being used for, and is there any use to it? Okay, so let me just, for those that don't want to wait for the answer, uh, the long version, the short version is no, you don't need DIM, period. We don't use it with anyone. Um, so DIM is what people consider, for lack of a better term, an over-the-counter <clears throat> aromatase inhibitor. Now, it's not actually an aromatase inhibitor, but it is something that suppresses some types of estrogen, uh, primarily the ones that are weaker. So E2 is 17-beta estradiol. That is the more um, effective or stronger estrogen in the body, and that is the one that benefits most. Then you have metabolites, E1 and E3, uh, estriol and estrone. Those are are much weaker. Most of that is excreted in the urine. So we never really would want to test any of that in a man anyway. Not that we really test E2 either way, because, you know, we've got a dozen videos out on, on the reasons behind that. But at the end of the day, oftentimes guys say, well, if aromatase inhibitors are bad, what if I just take DIM? Now, let me, let me make one clear distinction. Just because something is over the counter does not in any way, shape or form mean it is safe. It is good for you. It is something you should just dabble with and, and just throw darts at the wall and, and, and wait till you hit something. Over-the-counter supplements can have serious implications. Just because it is not heavily regulated or requires a prescription, again, in no way, shape, or form means that it is just something mild or something that you should just go out and, and, and experiment with. Heck, people commit suicide with Tylenol, right? So don't think that just because this is sold at a vitamin shop, it is completely harmless. You do not need to worry about your estrogen if you are properly managed on hormone replacement therapy. You do not need to go and try to suppress it. You do not need to go and add these supplements just because you don't want a prescription, but you think that buying something at the vitamin store is just gonna be a little bit better or quote unquote milder. This is a completely flawed approach. Anytime someone asks me, hey, if I lower my estrogen using this instead of that, what that actually tells me is you haven't understood. I'm not gonna say you haven't watched because people do watch some of the videos you haven't understood the actual underlying uh, mechanics of how estrogen is produced, what it is used for, and how it is excreted. If you don't understand that, it is okay to say, hey, I'm unclear. We'll explain it again in 15 different ways until it clicks. But to just say, yes, I've watched the video, I get it. But that but says you don't get it. Stop worrying about estrogen. If you want to just take my word for it, stop worrying about estrogen. If you don't want to just take my word for it and you have every right to research this, then please reach out in the group and say, hey, I know you said stop worrying about estrogen. I'm still struggling with the concept of why. And I promise you, I am so, and I know Jordan and jo I know we're all Dave Lee. I know we're all very, very motivated to get this message out there the correct way. Where we get frustrated is when guys blatantly ask the same question over and over after it's been beat to death after they claim they understand. Come in and say, guys, I'm sorry, I still don't get this part or that part. I promise you, we will write you a novel trying to explain it, or we will make you a video trying to explain it in a different way until it clicks. Just ask the relevant questions and we will take the time to educate you. But please stop worrying about your estrogen levels if you are properly managed on replacement therapy. And now click on this video to learn more about TRT and hormone optimization.